In this lecture, we will start discussing SCD types or slowly changing dimensions. One of the main properties of data warehouse is that data warehouse should keep history. So we can do our history analysis, we can do our analytical processing, and so we can generate KPIs based on history value. So this is a very critical and a very important property of data warehouse. It should be historical. So in a slowly changing dimensions, we will know different types and different approaches, how we can keep history for our data in dimension tables. First type is type zero, which has no history. Whenever data changes in source system, we will not change data in our data warehouse. So dimension data will remain the same. It will be fixed. It will not be affected with any change in source system data. Of course, this is not what we want, but in some dimensions, maybe it's a reference dimensions, just a lookup for some values. So we don't need actually to track history or change values in this dimension. So we will keep it as it is, but it's a very, very rare and special cases. So in type zero, we don't have history. In type one, we override the old value with the new value. So for example, in this table, we have a customer information. So we have data house key, which is a surrogate key. We have customer key, which you can say it as a durable key or a source system key. And we have city for this customer and the customer name. Of course, we have another information, but for our example, this is what we need to demonstrate what is type one. This is what we need to demonstrate what is type one. So let's say if the city has a change it in source system, this customer has changed it, his residence city. So in our dimension table, we will just remove the old value and put the new value. We didn't keep history. We didn't track the old value. We just removed the first value and updated with the new value. Let's say customer has changed it, his residence city again. We will remove the old value and keep the new value. So in this type of SCD dimensions, we are just keep updating dimension data with the new data coming from source system. So the good part of it, we have an updated data now. Our data is updated and matched with the source system. But this advantage is we don't have history. We still don't have the old values. We just have the new values coming from source system. So to recap again, data warehouse must have a historical data so we can generate historical KPIs and we can do analytics over a historical KPIs. The first type of SCD is type zero. We don't have history and we don't change data at all in dimension table. Second type is type one. We override the old value with the new value and the advantage of this type, we now have updated data. But this advantage, we don't have history. We're still missing history data. 